up guys it's on this uh nipton road here cutting across to the 95 it looks like never been on this road this kind of a trip turning on to it was really sketchy i had you guys in time lapse when i turned on it but um yeah it was pretty tight Almost made me not want to take it, thinking I was going to see a five ton sign or something. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's not that bad. It's kind of sketchy though. I don't know what I'm going to run into on this road. And I'm in the failing light, so it'll be getting dark here soon. kind of uh kind of a weird area at least for me I, since I don't know it yeah I've uh this week so far put on 1300 miles I'm thinking by the time I get home I'll be close to 2500 That's a pretty big week for me. I think average if you just drive straight, you know, maybe you can get like 3,000 in a week. I think it's like 600 miles a day or so. But when you're stopping and doing a bunch of stores it kind of bites into your mileage and how much you can get done in one day so 2500 is pretty pretty badass if I can hit that mark I only got to do what I did already and I'll be there or over it Still got a lot of driving to do. Got to go to Havasu, Kingman, up into Flagstaff, Sholo, Cottonwood. I'm going to be going through Traffic Circle City. Which that's exciting. <laughs> kind of nice documenting all this stuff you know so that way when I watch the videos or edit them down or do whatever it's kind of like doing the trip again for me and it's really embedding them in my mind so I can remember what the hell I'm doing I know Flagstaff is a really tough town for me to navigate through I got some crazy in-town driving some really tight stores but Flagstaff's like really nice really nice area I hear Sholo's really nice too so I can't wait to go out there that'll be my first time there guy in Flagstaff told me if I like Flagstaff then I'll really like Sholo. Me myself I'm more into that mountainy tree area. I like that more than like the city life me a little rural spot 
something with some streams I can go fishing in or lakes or ponds. I'll be a happy camper. Yeah, it's getting cold out here already too. I haven't even hit 80 once today. About froze my balls off last night. Like 40 degrees. All I got is this little blanket back there. Been meaning to bring a heavier blanket. historic town ahead I like these little historic towns too Let's see what this one has to offer <laughs> I don't know if this is like a normal cut that people have taken I haven't really seen much traffic on it of Nipton. The whole town is for sale. That's what that sign just said. <laughs> uh, 25 miles per hour for these railroad tracks. They're probably a little rough. Wonder how much you could buy this little town for. Those were pretty rough. Magical Nipton. Oh, this is a crazy little town. It's cool. Got an old cop car chilling right there making me think it was a cop waiting for me <laughs> that was a trippy little town uh, looks like I'm coming into the the crazy part of this road maybe still have 21 miles to go on it See a car up there. Full hill right here is kind of a beast. Should have been more prepared for it. Vegas cut or something. Yeah, Vegas was only like maybe 30 or 40 miles from where I got off. Uh, I'm going to have to downshift. Get up this hill, baby. You can do it. get there one way or another I don't even know if this is like California Nevada or Arizona I would think California
like right near the trifecta all three of them all three of their borders I think I'm about to go into California Stop. This would be a good workout on a bicycle. Welcome to Nevada. Oh yeah, this is Nevada right here. Now I'm in Nevada. I just left California. shift again. Yeah, I'm dropping pretty good. Get up there. Should be able to pull up this hill nice with this gear. Probably even have to upshift. Get it close to 1600 and then I'll upshift like 1580, 1590. There we go. We are definitely creeping. miles per hour. I'm gonna have to downshift again. Jeez. This is a rock solid hill, that's for sure. <laughs> Man. Legs getting tired from holding this frickin' pedal to the floor. <laughs> Bullhead City hasn't been the easiest of drives. Like the whole way to the 15, it was just traffic, like mad traffic. And then you get to the 15 and it's just an uphill battle. And then I get to Nipton Road and it's the exact same thing. <laughs>
uphill battle. I think I'm finally getting to the top of it though. It's got to be close. Surely I can't go all the way to the top. At least I have plenty of fuel. Don't have to worry about that. Doing this drive low on fuel isn't recommended. Let's see if I can get these RPMs up a few more notches and I'll try to go into seven high. kicking my ass so that's for sure kicking the truck's ass too jeez this thing's taking me like pretty much to the top Got a buddy, semi truck buddy. Woo yeah, he might be saying the same thing about me. Only thing is, I don't know where he got on at. He's got it much easier though going down this grade rather than going up. Lord Almighty. All right, I'm getting there. Watch me get around this corner and it's just another <laughs> battle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. Look at this. That's what I like. Ah. So comforting. <laughs> I am hauling ass so or Jake break a little. Give it a light Jake break now.
Got 11 miles to the 95, 12 miles till my destination. Here's probably rough too. Probably the exact same thing as back there. Now this one doesn't seem as steep. That other one was pretty steep. Maybe I'll get into a steeper area. Try my brights out. That way I can see the rabbits. Or coyotes whatever there might be. I hope there's no scale on this road. I didn't have to pass a border check or a scale on this. I did hit a scale on the 15, but it was uh, closed. Well, it was just full of trucks, so they were telling everyone to bypass it. Yeah, this road's pretty cake so far. Hasn't been anywhere near as bad as I thought it would. Thought I was gonna get into some twisties. You what I wouldn't want to be stuck out here in the middle of the night walking that would suck no room on the road you have to walk in this crap over here and it's pitch dark out here Gotta be bullhead up there. It said on my paperwork that I need to park in the street and then walk up there in the morning because they're squeezing me in. And they don't know if they'll have room and they're obligated to the other truckers. I only got one unit for you guys. Have me done in one minute. Easy peasy. Walking Box Ranch Road. Just talking about walking on this road. <laughs> it's a dark, creepy road.
I'd like to get some nice, reliable vehicles. Not my VWs, I mean, some type of 4x4 and just like cruise out and mob all these roads that nobody knows about and just check them out. Let's go on explorations. be pretty cool I would have loved to go down walking box road maybe I see a walking box just about five miles that's got to be Bullhead City I don't know what else it could be. This is a cool little cut though. If I gotta go to Vegas and do Bullhead City. This time I'm doing Northern Arizona. I do have one kind of down by Phoenix and Surprise. I think that'll be my last stop. Yeah, looks like I'm coming into some excitement up here. Not sure what it has in store for me, but it looks pretty exciting. coming up behind me fifty five degrees out here already I'm probably gonna be frozen tonight I may have to find a Walmart or something and go buy a blanket sleeping bag or something be one of them nights it's crazy cuz like every other night I've been here it's been freaking scorching hot and now it's just freezing cold can't keep the cat comfortable ever I really need an APU. gonna be nice finally being done with this drive though I've been driving all day feeling it <clears throat> hopefully they got some food nearby
Yeah, on this drive out here, I kept looking at how much time I have left. It was like two and a half hours, and I'd look again. It'd be like two hours and 28 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. What the hell? This drive is just taking forever. Getting into the reduced speed area. It's even slower right here. half a mile this 95 man even slower right here what the hell turn right onto US 95 south you gotta be shitting me 25 miles per hour through here like I'm going towards needles. Take the next right onto US 95 South. Hopefully it's not a bad turn. Doesn't look like it. I think I'll be fine. Denny's. America's Diner. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Spot coming up. Hey, 25 through here too. Wow. I really gotta watch my speeds around here. Your destination is on the left. Where? I don't see it. the hell kind of shit is this? This is horse shit. That's what this is. Oh, I gotta stop and figure this out. I'll turn you guys back on later.